What's up you guys? I'm just going to do a little update and talk about all the different parts that I've basically had to get for the rebuild. Some of the stuff I knew I would need and a few things are kind of coming uninspected. So basically, um, I'm just going to kind of show what I have. So I think this is the intake gasket. I'm just going to try to show. Or this is the intake or the intake and the exhaust. That's what these are. I went with OEM. Instead of doing the CFK bypass or whatever, I just found a good deal. I just went ahead, I'm going to actually just put an oil pump in the B20. So this is going to be the correct one with no sensors. So oil pump. I'm going to keep the... Um, I'm going to keep the B18 pulley, the crank pulley, so I can use the correct belt. So three bandeau belts. I didn't want to spend a whole lot of money because you go through axles really easily on uh, Integra. So I got a cheap eBay or uh, Amazon uh, right front axle. Since I was going to be in there, my mechanic advised me, let's just go ahead and do the clutch. So I got a Exidi KHC05 clutch kit. And a Lux Innovations um, flywheel. So new flywheel. New clutch. Uh, this is the oil pump uh, gasket and O-ring. So I had to get those. Now one of the biggest things I wasn't planning on, I just wasn't thinking at all, was the uh, motor mount. So I got the rear and the two sides. And this was about 350 bucks. And you know, if you're gonna rebuild, why not just do it right? So that was pretty costly. Um, the other stuff that you're gonna have to get, timing belt. Uh, oil pan gasket, uh, valve cover, stem seals, tube seals, water pump, thermostat. Uh, this is just to go over my, now I forget the name, but just extra crap I needed. While, it was broken while I went in there. Oil filter, bearings, tensioner, and yeah, just your basic stuff. So right now, that's where I'm at, and um, I'll do a pricing at the end, but anyway, guys, that's all for now. Hopefully, uh, the car will be built up soon, but that's just an update. Peace out.